Hello, I'm George, and I'm here to say welcome to our fun show for the day. Fun for the Disabled is here to present children's books they heal, a cool new event. Today's book is called Paradise Faces the Bully by Anthony S. with illustrations by Brandy Williams. This book features Paradise, who is a young and bright girl. However, as she goes to school, she learns the great importance of standing up for her friend against the bully. And now, here's Vanessa to introduce our reader for today. Thanks, George. I'm so excited to share this story with you. Have you ever been in a situation where you were bullied or had to protect someone else from an unkind person? Let me introduce you to Paradise, who faces this challenge in today's book. She learns a very important lesson at the end while trying to protect her best friend from a bully. Now let's give it up for today's actress, Dr. Shantrice Holloman. Today, I will be reading Paradise Faces the Bully, written by Anthony S., illustrated by Brandy Williams. Paradise wakes up and looks over at the birdcage that is sitting next to her dresser. She gets out of bed and walks over to the cage and slowly takes the cover off the top of the cage. Being careful not to wake up her pet bird, Paradise checks to make sure that she is still sleeping. After Paradise notices that Paris is still sleeping, she goes into the bathroom. Every morning, Paradise gets up, turns on her radio, brushes her teeth, and washes her face. Paradise has the cover over the cage so that Paris can sleep peacefully. If she doesn't cover the cage, it will be hard for her bird to fall asleep. After Paradise washes up and prepares for school, she goes back over to the birdcage to see if Paris is still asleep. Paris was wide awake this time, so Paradise opens the cage door and reaches inside to get the two small pans. One of the pans has water in it. The other small pan has what's left of the bird seeds that Paris had not finished. Paradise is in a good mood. She dances in place as she raps to a song that she hears on the radio. She continues to sing while filling the small pans. Paris moves her head to the sound of the music. Paradise leaves the bird inside the cage while she is in school. When she gets home, she takes Paris for a walk. Paradise puts on a special glove so that Paris's claws don't scratch her. She takes Paris out of her cage and places her on the gloved hand. Paradise has good grades, the best in the class. Because of her good grades, her mom and dad told her she can choose a hobby that she likes. Writing lyrics and rapping is what she chose as her hobby. When she finished giving Paris her water and food, she continues to rap to one of her favorite songs as she gets dressed. She chooses her own clothes and shoes the night before to make sure she is not late for school the next morning. Paradise is all set. She blows an imaginary kiss to Paris before she closes her bedroom door behind her. Morning, everybody, she says. Her dad and younger brother are in the kitchen eating cereal. Morning, sweetie. Your mom is running late, so we are on our own this morning, her dad says. No problem, dad, she responds. She's a responsible girl. She makes her a huge bowl of cereal while she hums the lyrics to her favorite rap song. Paradise finishes her breakfast and then looks for her backpack. Have you seen my backpack, Dad? Yes, sweetie. I put it in the laundry room, her dad responds. Okay, thanks, Dad. See y'all later. Give Mom a kiss for me. She walks over to her dad and kisses him on the cheek and does the same to her younger brother. And away I go, she says. Her dad looks up at her and says, you're so silly. Let me watch you as you leave the house. Paradise meets up with her best friend and neighbor, Cammie, 
who lives three houses from her. They walk to the bus stop together. Every time they see each other, they give a brief hug. They both have matching backpacks. They collect stickers and show off the newest ones that they have collected to one another. What you think? Cammie asked as she shows her most recent one. I like. Check this one out, Paradise responds. Paradise shows off her latest sticker as well. Once they get to school, they are met by other friends. There is a bully that is known for terrorizing kids. Cammy walks across the lawn and is met by the bully. The bully snatches her backpack and dares her to ask for it back. This belongs to me, thanks, the bully says. Cammy starts to cry. Paradise notice what is, notices what is going on and quickly runs over to help. Hey, give it back, Paradise yells. Make me, the bully yells back. Paradise continues, I will have you know that my dad is a police officer and if you don't give it back, I will have him come up here and arrest you. The bully does not hesitate to give it back. Paradise tells her, I don't ever want to see you messing with my friends anymore. Understood, the bully walks away embarrassed. Paradise wipes the tears from Cammie's face. Everything is okay, Paradise tells her. They both walk back over to their friends and they all comfort her. After school, Paradise and Cammie catch the bus home. Paradise tells her mom what had taken place. Mom, I did something that I shouldn't have, she explains. What did you do, sweetheart? Well, mom, I told a lie, she says. Why in the world would you do that, sweetheart? I was trying to protect my friend Cammy. Paradise continues. I know it was wrong, but I had no choice. A bully stole her backpack. Her mom responds, Well, the bad thing that you did was lied. But the good thing that you did is stood up for your friend. I'm not pleased with the lie, but I understood why you did. I will not punish you. You have shown me that your dad and I have taught you well, but don't do it again, okay? I love you nonetheless. I understand. Thanks, Mom. I love you too. Paradise turns away and smiles. Thank you, actress Santrice sims Alleman, for that wonderful reading. I'm so glad that Paradise learned to stand up for her friend against a bully while realizing that telling a lie is not the answer. Parents, please share this video with your kids to encourage them to do what's right in times of trouble and when faced with a bully. If you have any thoughts or tips to share, please put them in the comments below. Thank you once again, Dr. Holloman for reading Paradise Faces a Bully by Anthony S. with illustrations by Brandy Williams. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our newsletter and check out more of our Fun for the Disabled presents children's book that heals series. Now here's George to close this out. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching Paradise Faces the Bully by Anthony S. Illustrations by Brandy Williams. 
Now look, we may not understand it fully, but we must stand up against bullies. Cause we can all use our voices to help others. Yes, our sisters and our brothers. Cause the truth conquers all anger. That's why lying is not the answer. So stand up and look that bully in the eye. And hey, thanks for stopping by. Thank you.